I'm home. Oh, welcome back. There was a letter in the mailbox for you. a friend? Oh, my show is almost done! I'm back. Welcome back. Dad, the Kotatsu's broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Is that a letter? It's for you, but... is this? Not often we get letters with no return address on them. So, I was right. Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? What are you up to? So you're not gonna be honest with me. I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. I will have the truth from you today. D Dad? We'll continue this somewhere else. But I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. This is for your own good, got that? It's all right. We're not fighting. We'll be right back, so don't wait up for us to get to bed, okay? Okay. I'll be waiting. I'll hold on to this. Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Are you making fun of me? Don't think you're gonna lie your way out of this one. Persona? People going inside a TV? <sighs> I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. Enough! That's enough! I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. <sighs> it's a shame. Stay here for the night. Whoa, sorry. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame them. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. 
He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. So, yeah, don't take it so hard. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. All right, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. And you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. <laughs> I've entered the information age. We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kids model, though. <sighs> Thank you, Yosuke. So to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was going to remind him about the Midnight Channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? Uh, I want to go to Nana-chan's place. I promised to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec, I'll try calling again. Still not picking up. Oh, duh. I forgot to try his home line. Hello? Hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? No. He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. He took Big Bro to the police station. W wait, wait, what? He got taken to the police station? Stop blabbering and let me talk, too! Good evening. <laughs> this is your Teddy speaking. Let's get together and eat snacks again! Weird letter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? Wait, was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others.
poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. You're thinking, but Nanako chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako chan. A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh my god. I should have realized it much sooner. But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. What are we gonna do? Nanako chan's home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Yosuke Senpai is heading to the police station. He said he called Kanji-kun, too. They'll explain the situation there. All right, I'll join them right away, and I'll let Yukiko and Risei-chan know. Yes, please do. Hmm? What are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Nanako-chan's missing. What? What do you mean? N Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan. I mean, your house. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. <sighs> This is the KJ Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Nanako. Tojima-san. Is this true? Has Nanako really been... Why? Why, Nanako? Um... It's probably because the media... What are you doing? Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... Look, this could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or ransom letters? No, but... Damn it, there's no time for this right now. Um, all right. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Even if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my daughter! If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not gonna wait for those clowns. But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way- Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! What am I gonna do? Dojima-san's run off half-cocked. Adachi-san, we'll go look for her too, so please, let him go! Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? Whoa, hey! If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's... Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! The hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? You gonna own up if something happens? Huh? Kanji-kun! I know how you feel, but...
But if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean, Nanako-chan opened the door herself? Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. The door for strangers. So, is the killer someone Nana-chan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? Eh, probably not. Dojima-san pretty much keeps to himself at the station. The only one Nanako-chan might know would be me, his partner. Uh, I've been here this whole time, of course. Hmm... I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Huh? TV? What? Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. You think he's using a car? Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice, since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice? Is there such a thing? What would it be? That's right! Now I remember! A delivery came! It was a delivery truck! No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time, so he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. Adachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is gonna be... A lot more difficult then. Hey! Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. I better go tell Dojima-san! After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary, Taro Namatame. The Anka singer's husband! All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. The address is... it's not far from here. I give him the clue, and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. 
I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi-san. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. Is that smoke? An accident? <gasps> Dojima-san! Are you alright? Where's Nanako? Hello? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. That's right, I should call back up too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? <gasps> what happened? I was on my way to Namatame's house. When I saw him, drive past me, and gave chase, and he... Damn it. Where's Nanako? I'm Namatame. Find him. Please. But how? Oh yeah, maybe there's clues in the truck. Wait, you can't. We need to preserve the scene. Then allow me. If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. Look! There really is a TV in there! Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world, thus I must save people. Save? The hell's he mean by that? <gasps> this... it's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi, Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Rise Kujikawa, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow, and that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He'd just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Namatame is the killer! We need to go save Nanako-chan! Here, let's use this TV and... Wait a sec! We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Dojima-san. <laughs>